In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the new RAD page view for WinForms. By using this control, you can display a set of pages in a strip view, stack view, or outlook view. Switching between these different types of views is quick and painless. Let's take a closer look at using this control. So I'm going to go ahead and drag out the new RAD page view control from our toolbox into a newly created WinForms application. And as you can see, if I select the smart tag to the top right, the current view mode is currently set to strip which essentially is a tab strip. And if I click this drop down, I have the option of selecting a stack view or an outlook view as well. well let's start out by taking a look at the, the uh, strip view mode. So to begin adding tabs to the strip view, I simply need to come down here to the bottom and click the add page link. And if I wanted to remove these pages, I could simply click the remove page link. So now that I've added a few pages to the control, let's go ahead and give them names. So I'm going to select page 1 and then come over here to the properties window under the text property and let's call this tab page 1. And then I'll select page 2 and let's give this page a name of page 2. And then finally for page 3, let's go ahead and name this page page 3. So now that we've set up our pages, if I select the smart tag once again, as you can see there are a few properties that are common across all of the different view modes. I can set the item size mode, so this is a property specific to the tabs that you currently see displayed here. I can set the orientation of these items, so let's say if I change this to vertical, as you can see it's rotated those tabs. And I also have the option of setting the spacing of my different tabs, and again these are properties that are common across all, of the, all three of the different view modes. Uh, so they may work differently depending on which view mode you're in. Uh, specific to the strip view mode is actually this section right here. As you can see I can set the strip alignment. Currently it's aligned to the top but let's say I wanted it to the left of the control I would just change it to the left and as you can see now all of the tabs are being rendered to the left side of the control. And let's say if I wanted to modify the item alignment I could for example select center and now it displays the tabs in the center of the control. And I can also modify the item fit mode and I can also modify this control box to the top right by uh, using this property. If I wanted to, for example, remove the, uh, the close button, I could do that here or you know just modify the different controls displayed in this control box uh, by using this property. So now that we know a little bit about how the strip view mode works, let's go ahead and add a few controls to our pages. So to page one, I'm going to go ahead and add a rad button. I'm not going to make any of these controls do anything. It's just merely for display purposes. And then for page two, I'm going to go ahead and add a rad calendar. Go ahead and move that to the top left. And then let's leave page three blank. So now that our, our uh, rad page view has set, is set up, I go ahead and run the application. Let's take a look at this in action. So here is our page view control. As you can see, there's the first page that contains our RAD button. If I switch to page two, we can see the RAD calendar. And then finally, on page three, the page three is blank. If I wanted to close a page, I could come up here to the top right and click the close selected page link on my uh, control box. And you know that's pretty much basically it for the strip view mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next view mode, which is the stack view mode. So as you can see, my control is currently in strip view, but if I wanted to change it to stack view, I can simply come back up here to the smart tag and change the view mode to stack view. And as you can see, it just instantly changed my control and uh, each of the panels still contains the same uh, controls that I dropped into them. So it's really just a different view of the same control. So a couple properties specific to this particular view mode. As you can see, I can set the stack position. Currently, it's set to bottom, which means all of my buttons appear at the bottom of the control. And I also have the option of setting them to appear to the left of the control, to the right, to the top. I'm going to go ahead and leave them at the bottom. And I also have the option of uh, setting the item selection mode. Currently, it's set to just display the page uh, at the top of the control but I can also come back in here and select, set the item selection mode to content with selection and as you can see it now displays the buttons uh, specific to the page that I'm on at the top of the control. So if I go ahead and run this now 
to take a closer look at it working in our application. So here I have page one that contains the rad button. If I want to go to page two, it contains our rad calendar. And then page three is still currently blank. So now that we've taken a look at the stack view, let's go ahead and take a look at the final view, which is the outlook view. So I'm going to go ahead and come back over here to the view mode property and we'll switch that to outlook view. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the stack view. Uh, the only major difference is that it has this section here at the bottom and it has a splitter bar that I can drag up and down. So I'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see, I can select the splitter bar and if I drag it up or down, I can, uh, it'll actually collapse the buttons into this panel down here at the bottom and I can select my pages that way or I can just add and remove these buttons uh, depending on how I want to configure the Outlook view as the user of this application. And I also have the ability to set custom icons uh, for this as well. So as you can see with the new rad page view for WinForms, you can easily display a set of pages in a strip view, a stack view, or an Outlook view. Thanks for watching.